This episode is brought to you by Spades and Spills Party, 420 edition. Come kick it, play a few rounds of everyone's favorite, Spades, and vibe out with us, BYOB. Free taco bar, while supplies last, and sounds by DJ Kid McFly. Prizes for the best two out of three Spades winners. Link in Shelby Lee bio. Hashtag, Hashtag Spades, Spades Spill. Spill. <laughs> Boy, you know you need to come give me that dick. He wanna hit from the back cause I'm thick. I like to fuck on him when I get lit. Yeah, tell me this pussy is shit. Hey, oh, he's so thirsty. Ride that dick like a horse. See, he said, Are you tired? I look back like yeah. Let's have a sex talk, huh? Wanna see your body take your clothes off, huh? I'ma bust quick, keep your lips off, huh? Rock that shit, keep your pants off. Shout out to Meg, the motherfucking stallion, the black queen. RIP to her mom. We praying for you, honey. I sent you my number in your DMs too. You know you can use it. Bitch, it was nice until you added the number part. Like I was Why really I proud of you. Bitch? Like, cause you really just pulled it. Like, t- come on now. Damn. How you gonna send condolences for her dead mom? And then I sent you my number. You know what? You comfort. right. Read my DM in a couple weeks. That but was insensitive. You whore. I'm just. I, I I sincerely meant everything, including my number, like there. But well, look, we got a special guest in the building. Uh, I know my dog since. The one, the only, six. the infamous. What up, though? What up, though? What, what up, we going about today? Tony, Tony, Tom. Oh, see, there we go. Damn, we should have had SR anniversary playing or something. You know <laughs> what today is? It's, it's our anniversary. anniversary. Five, and we got Sexy song. Lex in the building. Just put her hair in a ponytail. Lex Luthan. Yeah, so we know what's going down after y'all leave. So, yeah, I just wanted to say what up, though, to everybody. Uh, it's about to go down. Y'all know how the introductions go. Uh, you going to say your name, your social media handle. And then I want y'all to also tell me y'all most embarrassing moment with a lover. And, and Tom, we're going to start with you. <laughs> Duh. <All right. laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> uh, Tony Hooligan. Uh, social media handle at Tony Hooligan. T O N Y W H L G N. Um, my most embarrassing moment with a lover. Uh, probably not getting it up. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that happened to So that. how do you recover from something like that? Uh, okay. You feel me? Me, I'm a person of uh, confidence and shit. I, you know, I it, it was like a one-time embarrassment, but, you know, I already know and shit. So, so. you can dust yourself off and try again type you shit? Dust yourself off and you, try again. Yeah. You feel <laughs> me? I ain't really, I ain't tripping. I, um, my most embarrassing, like, that's wild. Oh, man. Um. All right, let's start. Uh, y'all know what it is. It's B Smith. Social media handle is name brand Smith on all social media platforms uh, that matter. Uh, most embarrassing moment. You know what? I know. So I was messing with this chick. Ended up being my girlfriend for like five years. But this was before, like we was deep, deep involved. So I spent the night and we had sex. So y'all ever had braces? Y'all ever had braces? Yeah. All right. So. I'm always wearing my retainer every night. It's literally like 10 nights out the year where I don't wear my retainer. So when I didn't, I didn't have my retainer because I was over there. So when we were asleep, we was cuddled up because my retainer wasn't in my mouth. My mouth was open because it's used to the retainer. So I was slobbing. So she went to turn over. And when she turned over, her face planted into the slob. So she woke me up like, hey, you know, she from the east side. Y'all don't be playing. So I'm like, yeah. So. Earlier that night, I felt my slob, right? Because I woke up to pee or some shit. So I found a way to flip the pillow over where she didn't notice it while she was still asleep. So I slobbed again, obviously. And so she was like, you acting like a kid. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, you don't see this shit? It was like the slob. And it's like, we ain't mess with each other like that. Like, if I gave that stupid ass excuse, it probably would have. Like, it was valid to me. But it was like, at the end of the day, I did slob. It was just so awkward. And I just like... <laughs> I'm going to just go home, you know. So I drove home in silence for 40 minutes because she lived, like, in Clinton Township. And I just pray I never slopped again. So we moved in together, and I slopped, like, once a week. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel like she was around. a kid for not being able to take slop, though, like. No, 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 no. I no, honestly would have been pissed the fuck off. Yeah, that's just thing. If I lied, this coming from a person with braces, you know what I'm saying? Retainer slop is this next level type of slop. Like, I feel like if I explained it to her, it, like at this age I feel like I could have Articulated that And she could have Understood it But being like 21, 22 It's kind of like This nigga just slobbed And I'm just like Oh my god You know Instead of just like I think she would have Understood now Like But yeah I don't know 
Honestly, I would have been pissed because it's like now nah, I'm laying here like hoping this nigga don't slob in my hair and shit. <laughs> like, but I mean, I wear a bonnet, so ain't nobody gonna like slob in my shit. Is it cool with you, Lex? If I wear a bonnet, what else? Yeah, we'll be bonnet bros. What? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> mm. All right, Lex. So, what about you? What's um? Lex, you let us girl, know your right? social media handle. Introduce yourself where we can where we can see that ass on online. And what's your most embarrassing? Yeah. So my ass is not online, unfortunately. I might Shit. go take some ass pics. You should, or send me some, and I'll post them on my page. Got you. Or yeah. just send me some. Ooh, it's going down like that. I actually just met Lex, so I kind of got my phone out ready for her to say her, her shit. <laughs> um, what's the deal, Lex Luther? Um, unwritten underscore underscore tail on. Ooh, who phone playing? Yeah, somebody phone oh, making some sorry, noise. Mine. I was actually. Yeah, I was about to say I can hear myself. Link. Um. Mm-hmm. Unwritten underscore underscore tail on Instagram. What? That's T A L E. Unwritten here. underscore T A L E. Wait, for how many underscores? Trying to see that two. ass. It's two of those. T A L E. Yep. What the underscores for? Unwritten. Unwritten. Oh the no, this ain't word. you. This some white dude that's in the army. Oh, I ain't got no signal in here. What's the Wi-Fi? Ooh, um, you could just put your number in there. What's my name on Twitter? <laughs> two <laughs> underscores called <laughs> Coach on Twitter. You got a Twitter too? Yep. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so what's your most embarrassing moment during sex? Um, it'll probably be the blue cup. So mm. <laughs> explain for those Why who don't know listening what yeah. a blue cup what is. It's a word. So yeah, this will be the first time I was today years old when I like put um a word to the action of what she's about to describe. So please do elaborate. Um, so a blue cup for those of you who don't know is when a penis goes in your asshole. From vaginal sex, it's a whole mishap, like a oopsie. like a quick quick transition by mistake. You know so what, what did you say? Um, I got up because the booty hole said blue cup. Oh, you have to stand up. So what did up? you say in response? I, I was just like, "Oh, this not gonna work." So you stopped fucking? Yeah, it was over. just because of the blue cup. It was over. Damn, like, gross. Some. It. it was like no, like it was like rough from the back. Oh, so my <laughs> man's wasn't taking care of you, like I so would. So when. So when the blue cup happened, it was like rough from the back. Mind you, I've never been into the anal play thing. So okay. that kind of okay. threw me off. Like it, so, hurt it. it was it was it wasn't cool. So do you think was it the blue cup that threw you off where like you wasn't gonna fuck my man's no more? Or was it like the whole No, thing? we fucked after that. It just it oh, just was that particular session. The blue cup that okay. that it had ruined it. You poor thing. You okay now? I'm okay. You can walk? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. How long ago was that? <laughs> yeah. Like four or five years. Oh, I thought you were going to be like days ago. Okay. No. Were you walking immediately after that? Like immediately after the escapade? I think so, just because I was in shock. You know, like I was, So you damn near got up and ran? Like basically. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, that, I've had that happen. Oh, God damn. Yeah, basically. I had the blue cup happen, like the run. Like the, I was, you know, doing it. She jumped up. Oh, oh like, I'm so relieved. She I'm was so holding. relieved. I thought she was saying that you had a dick mistakenly yes. slipping to your ass. Yes. <laughs> huh. Oh, God. All okay, right, Ray. continue. All right, I'm bet, happy. Bet. All right. All right. I got you. Okay, so you already know this is Big Ray from the motherfucking East Side in this bitch. Follow me on Instagram at oh, McBreezy with seven E's. Um, you can follow me on Twitter also, McBreezy with four E's. Um, so my most embarrassing moment that I've had with a lover um what have to be this time that i literally bust out in tears immediately after like post nut and it was, it was just like a, i don't know why my reaction was to start crying did it you want to have like, sex with him yeah i did it wasn't anything like that oh it was nigga, it was I'm like it was, shit i it got was the completely gun consensual no it was completely consensual but like my orgasm was so amazing that like my reaction was like tears like and it started off like as like a giggle i was like ha 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 i can't believe i'm crying and it was like i can't believe i'm crying so you had dicks so like, good that you cried. i was sobbing i'm like that looks like, like i legit I had was a tear drop like, before like by somebody but and damn. i feel like it low-key made that nigga fall in love with me even more which is Shit, problematic man, i want to give somebody some i made them sob dick Shit, yeah, i'm jealous Shit. yeah yeah man i made this bitch sob like, nigga i legit was sobbing yeah. like, I but that was a one time thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? She was sobbing. Because I'm a real ass bitch, give a fuck about a nigga. Big okay. Back oh. Look, honestly, if you were sobbing after <laughs> I fucked you because the dick was so good, it's absolutely nothing you can tell me about myself. Oh, I mean, he can't really tell me shit now because if he tried to call, I wouldn't answer. So. Really? Oh, damn. 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 You ever sob off some dick? No. Lex? No. Do you want to? 
No, I'm just saying, like, do you want to, like, in life? I like, mean, that might sound like a Why you keep sticking your tongue up? I, I don't know. It's a force of habit. Oh, I like it. All right, so I just, you know, want to. <laughs> How do women be feeling cutting good dick off? Ooh, good I dick like off? that. That shit hard. Let me tell you about this time. <laughs> <laughs> this one time at band camp? The one that got away, okay? Like, the one that, like. <sighs> she about to start sobbing again. I, Cutting good dick off is hard. Like, it's really, really hard. Especially when it's really, like, y'all not beefed out. It's really not, like, no pressing reason for why you got to stop fucking with this nigga. <laughs> but, like, the situation just not right. Like, that shit hard. Like, that shit is really, really hard. Like, I'm trying to think of something to compare it to. Um, it, that shit is difficult. It's, it's a difficult experience. And you really got to be a disciplined type of bitch to be able, like, to cut some good dick off. Which I, I like to believe myself to be. Because clearly... Dick had me sobbing, and I will. This nigga is not part of my life. So to kind of answer that, but in reverse, I have to cut off some good pussy because she was just crazy as fuck. Like I, I was just, just about to say that good dick, good pussy also comes with problems, so like, that makes it easier. His good dick came with hella problems. Like she did some mm -hmm. like wild shit, and I was just like, like I you you know how some people like you more than you like them. And that's fine that because it's exactly never going to be like 50-50. And you might like them and your liking may grow, but it's like you got to give it time to grow. You can't just a couple weeks in, I like you a lot, bitch. Like, 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 <laughs> chill out, bro. Like, we were spending so much time together. And that's why I need somebody that's as busy as me. And I know you being a creative and you always having different shit going on. And you doing this podcast and working full time and school. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But when you got a lot of shit going on and somebody don't have nearly as much shit as you going on, they get bored and they want to spend their bored time with you. And when that happens, they start to get annoyed with you being busy. And you start to get annoyed with them not having shit to do. See, so now I don't even run into that problem anymore and shit. You feel me? Because you famous. It's different. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, but you know, I just be making it plain, clear, blunt and shit. Like, you know, I honestly don't have the time for this. It I really be taking me like six months to a year to like somebody and shit. Yeah. And I, I was only a couple way, months like, in. I'm a slow motion ass bitch, but niggas yeah. are not like I've talked about this several times on other episodes on the podcast, like the men that I encounter be like, bitch, let's be together right now. Let's like, be. I want you to be my bitch right now. And I'd be like, damn, no. Like, let's let's just fuck. Like, can we, can I like you a little more before we, like, do this relationship thing? Like, yeah. So, my, my experience with niggas is not, like, uh, six months to a year until I like you. It'd be like, bitch, I like you. Let's do something about it. And But that's probably yeah. because they're not used to a real ass bitch who not trying to. Uh, yeah, I am a unicorn. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, some niggas ain't never seen unicorns before and shit. And when you see a unicorn and that bitch beautiful and shit, you you, hey, you hey, want to ride it. Hey, and I will admit, I've been. But do you like, have to ride it forever? Why can't you ride it and then let someone else ride too? Unless you see that there's a unicorn farm and that there's other unicorns <laughs> out there. That, that's a. This is a beautiful, beautiful metaphor. Yeah, really yeah that is. And that, 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 I honestly, <laughs> some niggas only I see this. one unicorn. I agree 100. percent But my whole thing is. Is it hot in here or am I drunk? No, I think <laughs> you I'm, might hot. Be. I'm hot. What? I'm so. chilling. I got you want to take your clothes off too? <laughs> paint overall. No, I don't want to take my clothes off. Definitely talking to Lex. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I was you. pointing at her and everything. Like, you, you were just, looking at me, which made it No, hard. I wasn't, nigga. You, we, you, right. you getting jealous. All right. No. It's okay, sis. So, look. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, <laughs> let me ask y'all this. Y'all, Do y'all send news? Yeah, That's it's my favorite. 2019. I don't send news. I was say, news I is kind of like a good like, morning flower. Yeah, shit. No, it is. I don't send news. an electronic I'm flower. Interested in, yes, but I send yes. news to my friends. Really? Why you so ain't you even send me no news? I'm not gonna send you one right now. Because uh, I was about to say, are we not friends? Bro, bitch, we've been friends for 10 plus years. What? Bro, like, say, you ain't never seen, seen her body? Never. Like, never. What? Legs. Okay. Is y'all friends for real? We're not. Oh. We're fucking not. If she be passing out news and I ain't get one, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, well, well okay. Just send her the news. Just send her the news. I did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, also FaceTime got oh, the screenshot God. and shit. So shit. <laughs> Let me be off getting their own news. Dog. She just turned the camera. Look. Damn. So you be on Facetime with the dig out. I mean, now, you know, depending different. on what I'm doing and shit, you feel yeah. me? Sometimes I be, you feel me, walking around and shit. You might, you feel me, catch me in my drawers and shit. You yeah. <laughs> I be on FaceTime with my man We're Brian on, so dick gonna be out. It depends on who I'm on. talking to for sure, 100%. You, you 
you're in violation. You're in fucking violation. We done been on FaceTime plenty of fucking times. You done had this man bonding on sale. Dick was out too. <laughs> I was taking a shit this morning. So yeah. Dog. You know, you got to cuff it when it's in the toilet. I was about to ask yeah. that. Like, so do you let it hang or do you move it a certain time? When I'm letting everything initially out, I'm I automatically about hair pee. or a penis? Penis. Okay. So I got to pee. So it kind of got to be in. But then, like, I kind of lift it up, you know, afterwards. But in my own toilet, I'm a little bit more comfortable at work. I'm holding that motherfucker. <laughs> we got to, like, it's a whole procedure at work and shit. And it get a wipe, too, with the wipes. Because I be having my wipes at work and shit. Sometimes you just gotta sit that motherfucker That's on just the for toilet you. with else saw a that piece one of right. tissue and shit. Yeah, I was about to say like you just gotta let it, let it rest. Why not just let it rest? Because it hit the water or the hmm. bowl, depending yeah. on how the toilet bowl. You ever suck some bowl dick? I will. I hope not. Mm. I pray to God I've never sucked I, any bowl dick. I, pray to God. I didn't no. even know those. But man. back I'm to these news day. though, like so, y'all get news, y'all send news and shit yes. overall. So is it so, Tonyo? Do you keep the news that you get? Um. When I was younger, I used to like save them and categorize them and so shit. So you calling me childish? What? Nothing. <laughs> Wait, hold on. No, I'm about to tell you how I progress. <laughs> and then you feel me? I got older, and then now, now they just sit in the text messages. Yeah, that's shit. exactly what I do. Just leave it in the thread. But now, yeah. like, I don't know. I I'm so I'm so like you feel me? I'm, I'm okay. We friends. The now. human body is the human body and shit. You feel me? So you, I'm getting news and shit. It's consistently. Okay. Or you said you get news consistently. Yeah. So how many news do you get a week? Do you recycle your own news? Are you sending out the same dick? No. Nah. Or are you retaking a dick pic? No. Nah. I mean, it depends and shit. Like, if it's somebody that I had just met, it depends on the time of my life, you might get a recycled dick and shit. <laughs> but if I'm fucking with you and shit and you on some fun and shit, then you're going to get the, you're you going to up a new week for sure. Okay. So uh, to, today years old dick pic. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So, do y'all keep y'all lock. news? I keep mine in the thread. I'm not saving. I'm not saving okay. it. I put my news specifically in a lockbox that I get. And, and I receive. think that's the weirdest fuck. <laughs> and I collect them. Like, yeah, that's a look. We talking about this. I'm not gonna I say I collect like, them. I, yeah. Like, it's like the best of the best. Like, you I know mean, what I'm you could also hide the photo in your photos and shit. Yeah, but you technically can get to that. A lockbox has a separate lock mechanism. But who mechanism? in your phone? Huh? Who in your phone? You don't know who can just steal your phone. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Put like this. I, I, I'm not trying to be funny. It's like not even on no cocky shit, but. Definitely since starting the show, but prior to the show, like I collected like news over the years, but I get news randomly sent to me. Like sometimes, like I'm just be like, do 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 do. Oh shit, Lex. I'm randomly, you know, so the bitch too. not Lex. Yeah, so I'm just talking about later on today when you send me that. So it's just like crazy. So I just like to protect. I I want to be able to see the nude again, yeah, and yeah, I also yeah. want to protect the person that sent it. So I delete it from the text thread and I send it to my lockbox. Isn't that courteous? I mean, yeah, that is, but I just, if I want to see it again, go to the thread, details. But see, anybody Damn. can go to your thread. Like, but I don't know. I, you you ain't, I ain't really got nobody in my phone. Like the that, likelihood of niggas, shit. you know what I'm saying, going through my phone and going specifically to a nigga's thread to go to the <laughs> media to see a dick. It's just. Okay, that makes sense. I like, get that. Okay, another thing. What about uh, sex tapes? Uh, I ain't really made one in a minute. But I got all my old ones that oh, I yeah, recorded. For sure. But I got them in the lockbox. I can't just have those just sitting out. Yeah, yeah, and then think about it. You showing your mom your vacation pictures, and then it's just a bitch busting it wide open. It's just like, you know what? And that's actually happened to me. So, like. You don't know how to swipe swipe? No. Yeah, so She's like, what was that? I'm like, nothing. Like, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> like, leave me alone. Because it was, it was an angle where I know she was probably confused. Or she wanted to learn from. But I, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah, so, but no, I, when it comes to news and I shit. It's been a teachable moment for you. I don't know, like, if it's a, I don't think it's like but a creepy thing. Right I think right. if anything is responsible. I, 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 can I mean, see I can say that it's responsible, and I don't, I don't want to say that it's creepy, but what I want someone with a, um, I don't know, fucking warehouse of fucking nudes. Like, <laughs> no, nah, why does my mom keep calling? Them. Like, and I'm tempted a to just be like, hey, I'm currently talking about sex. What do you want? I mean, why, it might be important. <laughs> well, why don't you just step out and we... It's <laughs> not important. All right. Um, All right. Never mind. So, Lex, you, do y'all even like when we send news? Like, it's only like one nude we can send. Dick. Come on, dick. Like, 
y'all can send a thousand. But you can be creative with it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can be creative. Okay. Give you us can some examples. Jack off vid, different angles. I have did a like, jack off. You can, you know what I'm saying? It can be like. And I got it when I nut it. it. See, it could be big, like this angle. It could be from the down angle. But yeah, jack off video that with the like with the cum shot. Options. Like yeah. Hey, they FaceTime me that's with my that favorite. bitch fully hard and then just hang up. That's my favorite. Yeah, like shaking <laughs> in the camera. That's like that. how. Well, I feel like you was getting wet thinking about that. Where you gonna be at, though? What if you in a school it amongst don't children? It not matter. That's what headphones are for. It, what if you ain't got on headphones right at that moment? Well, you only FaceTiming me with the dick, so it don't matter. Just don't talk. Period. Okay. I'm going to FaceTime you with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ray, you ever face somebody, FaceTime somebody with the clip? Might have just uh, up yeah, my no. FaceTime. No, I don't dude. think so. <laughs> it, because I don't know where you're about to be at when you answer. And I don't just want y'all. That's why mom you text them right before, <laughs> yeah. not safe for work. Like, oh. That's why you say NSFW, not safe for work. And then when they say, huh, then FaceTime, then they pick up. And What's funny is, I actually just learned what that meant while at work. Like, I did not send you some naked shit. And I said, not safe for work. No, I sent you, you like my boss. It, what, what is it? it? What NSFW. I was at work and somebody sent me an NSFW text. And I looked at my Snapchat and it was just dick. Dick, 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 slanging in the fucking. Wait, so he sent you a lot of dick pics? It was like dick pics, dick videos, and that bitch was swanging. Why was he sending you all this? I probably requested it. Oh, so you be requesting dick videos? Yeah. What's your favorite dick video type? Send that dick through the mail. I like the the jack off, jack off. You like seeing the shot bit, yeah. I actually was able to get one, and I was pissed because it was like, I don't want to keep jacking off just to get the shot, but I want to jack it off and, like, get the video, like, recording, like, a boomerang as I nut, and I was able to do it, and it was perfect, <laughs> and I sent it. Because she, that's what she had did for me, like, and then she was, like, drizzling and shit. It was, like, phenomenal. And, like, do you see how how I'm talking about it? Why would I delete that? Like, I still got that phenomenalness that nobody can see. But that's epic. I feel like that's something you got to keep. Yeah, right. like I wanted somebody to send me a squirting video. A boomerang shot of her. A boomerang dripping. squirt. I've actually only squirted one time. Yeah. But, you know, speaking of squirting, we actually got a squirt of Hannah's mm. story that Big Ray about to read. Okay. From an anonymous uh, person. Mm. <laughs> All right. So is this one shorty. I was kicking away and whatnot, and I wasn't really trying to have sex with her. We was more homeboys in my mind, but bitches be scheming, conniving asses. But yeah, we passing bleezes back and forth one day, as we usually do, but some wasn't the same this time. Every time I take a hit and look up, this bitch staring into the piss of my soul, so I sent some different energy for sure. Fast forward to the end of the first wood, I look at her while I'm breaking out this Girl Scout and say some goofy shit like, that's the way the cookie crumbles, and this bitch loses it. Did all a little dirty ass car laugh and then proceeded to slap my knee and then rest her hand. You think it was pimping, pimping how she was laughing, so instantly my nigga senses started tingling like, oh, you gonna get some dick today. I look at her, dick, she look dick. at me. I look at her, she look at me looking at her and said, fuck it. Took her hand like, come on, we finna go downstairs. So now we in my room, and since I really wasn't trying to fuck, but I know she wanted to, I ain't spend not a second lollygag or Nathan nigga. I threw her on the bed, told Nathan. her to take these off. As she was, this bitch gonna give me a disclaimer. I ain't realize it was that until damn near now, but she gonna say, just letting you know, I'm a squirter. So my high and mighty self thinking, wait, thinking my high and mighty ass waved it off because I'm bringing dope dick to the table. So I'm like, ain't nothing new to me, nigga. 30 seconds, 37 seconds into back shots, this bitch going to grab me, pushing me closer and shit. Mind you, she getting hit from the back. But yeah, this bitch going to grab me, buy a nigga ass cheeks at that, push me closer into her, then suck her own titty and tell me I'm finna come. Now I'm in deep dicking mode, so I'm a whole nother nigga right now. Talking all kinds of shit. I'm just like, well, bitch, come on in. Show me, don't tell me then, my baby. So she did exactly as she was told. And this bitch started squirting all willy-lilly everywhere. And it wasn't no quick squirt. I'm trying to keep the dick in on some cool shit. At this point, you would think I was a, it was a water hose in my shit. So now I'm devastated because I wasn't mentally prepared for all that. And I'm traumatized at the same time because this bitch just had a handful of my ass while I'm hitting it from the back. I proceeded to have sex with for another 20, 30 minutes, though. Nigga was already knee deep. And my mama raised a gentleman one and a young lady, but not no bitches. But by, but, <laughs> but nigga, by the time we finished, I literally had a puddle in my good-ass memory foam. Then and there, I subconsciously told myself, I can't really fuck with this wet and wild-ass bitch. I did slip and slide in that thing 51 more times before I finally said enough was enough, though. It was really the head that made me linger like that. Shorty could have sucked frozen peanut butter out of a coffee straw how good the throat was. But am I wrong for the extra 51 times I misled her to believe I enjoy partaking in that pussy? Let me know. 
Look, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, and I talked about this back in the day, and I'm not gonna say her name no more because she's uh, happily engaged. And congratulations on that, by the way, Jen. But um, damn, I did it anyway. I've been with a, a squirt, squirt, squirter, and that shit is not fun. Like you be, you ever drive home like you just jumped out of a pool? <clears throat> that shit is awkward. It's like too much. So you gotta kind of like put on some swimming trunks or some shit. But Lex, when you be squirting, what be happening? Um, so I've only squirted like two or three times. Four or five. Damn, I think this bitch did. Oh, the damn, charger, Tommy! Oh, she she fucked hurt. you over. Yeah. Um, Girls don't charge shit. You want this mix? I got it over here. Oh, okay. So Lex squirt. Like, is it like a pew pew or is it? Brrrr? Um. Is it a water hose or the faucet leaking? No, for me it was like damn near. I don't know. Like I want to say like like that was like my almost tearjerker moment. Like my squirting climaxes were probably my best. Do you ever. like scream in a deep voice? No. Oh, uh, <laughs> you look like you'd be like, oh shit. Like a nigga be like, what? Mm -mm. I, honestly, as I get excited, like my voice gets higher. So I can't wait to hear it. It'd be like. Oh, do it again. <laughs> so you be fake coming because that was too good. You be faking it, don't you? Mm. No, I faked it once. I have. Mm. I'm not faking shit. I, okay, y'all doing yourselves and a not. nigga a disservice. Like, and if you're not, you need to go home. Period. But like, I did not want to hurt this person. Okay, it's one thing you just have to oh, be yeah. polite about it. You don't have to be rude as fuck. It's just a hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just not feeling it no more, and just that. Like it's about that story. communication. But see, yeah. like, this is the thing. Okay, so I've had the communication, like, you know, this wasn't working without having the direct communication. Like, you know, I've showed, like, no, do it like this, go like that. And when that just wasn't working, I just cut that off completely. Okay. But I was trying, like, when I could see that he was trying to comply, I tried to... You know. Yeah, but that's why I say like when it comes to faking and shit, I also blame the person who faked because it's like, did you ever communicate with this person what you like? People be just expecting people to know what they like, and it's just like different people like different shit. Like, say I fucked you, and then I fucked Raven, but I don't know what Raven like. Raven ain't tell me. Big Ray ain't tell me. So I'm fucking her. Big like Ray I'm is fucking always Lex. gonna tell you. No, I'm and just using this example. I, disclaimer for the niggas out there listening, thinking about possibly sliding my DMs to slip and slide in this uh, good thing. I'm always gonna tell that you. That means she's looking for takers. Like I'm always gonna tell you what I want. If you don't follow directions, you have to get the fuck out. She for looking record, for takers, y'all. Listening to this podcast, right. you're never gonna hit me and then hit my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> also, Only me. Also, disclaimer: <laughs> not Brandon either. Whoa, I don't want you, sis. But y'all don't That's even see each like you a real sis. That's perfect. I'm I'm glad we're on the same page. Yeah. yeah. Like I like kiss again. you on the forehead and tap your head, bro. You like in sis mode, like. You've never kissed me on the forehead, but okay. When we was at the liquor store, you said, why did you hug me and give me a kiss at the liquor store? Why do you get on the mic and lie? <laughs> like, you always get on this bitch and get to lying. I wasn't supposed to tell nobody that. You really get on All right, this bitch and get it, to lying. It never happened. Like, I'm just making it up. Oh, my God. I'm just making it up. Me and John B's daughter never did anything. You, really, you want to do that? <laughs> yeah, so you want to do that today? No, but... Yeah, no, I don't. I know you don't. Yeah. Did y'all listen to the episode where I said what Brandon looked like? All right, so look, uh, don't don't I you got some no questions? Idea. Oh, okay. Okay. That's funny to you. Yes, I do have some questions for our pal um, Tonyo here. Let me just go on the to the again. Google Docs. She thinks since we went to DSA, we super freaks. Yeah, so like I've I've heard several times that. that people that do it DSA are like super freaks and was doing some serious fucking early. So it one, early. how how soon did you start fucking? How old were you when you started fucking? Damn, am I a rarity at DSA? I mean, like no. so, RC type. So, so like, yeah, I've always heard that liberal. RC type of niggas and bitches be out here. Ew. I actually yeah. only fucked two people from DSA. Hmm. See, me too. Uh, I ain't even gonna get into no name. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, because that was you know, thirty years ago. Yeah, I and never then, had sex with uh, nobody from there. I also lost my virginity when I was seventeen. Hopped okay. off a little bus on Seven Mile and when the bus did die. I was sixteen and a half. 
that's that's, that's interesting cute. because I definitely heard that niggas was sucking sucking and fucking inside of DSA. Oh yeah, that happened. Yeah, like, I that fucked on Grammy night. So you wasn't. I, no, I was too busy getting money and shit like that. Okay, busy yeah. getting money and painting and shit. Yeah, you feel me. So speaking of the painting, um, for niggas who don't know who Tony Tony Hooligan is, yeah. who don't know. Um, I don't know. I would hope that there isn't anybody who doesn't know who Tony Hooligan is at this point. Because if you don't know who he is, you're kind of living under a rock. Um, But he's an amazing artist um, out here painting beautiful murals, being a leader to kids, all kinds of dope shit. Um, So we're we're painting on the mind. Are you open to painting somebody naked? Uh, I've been asked to do that before. I really... (laughs) I be painting. I be painting. So do you be painting people naked? How many? I mean, how many? We just don't see it. You, you feel painted? me? We uh, just don't see it. I paint every time I have sex. Really? really? That's interesting because I was I was wondering about that. So I was gonna ask you, have you ever been inspired artistically from something sexual? But that obviously answers the question that you you become inspired every time you. I'm literally talking about coming on our body. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I was like yeah. so confused for a second. All so right. I so thought I was here talking about art. No. Nope. All right. Yeah. So that I have, have sex and then go paint, or I paint and then go have sex. But um. But you can you say that a direct or a piece directly came from um a sexual encounter that you had or something that you experienced sexually? Mm, nah, I I kind of had sex a lot, so. <laughs> It, everything would be kind of inspired by sex, honestly. Does that post nut clarity help with the quality of um, the art you producing? Uh, it help get my thoughts out, clear my mind for sure. Take a lot of the stress off from the daily livings and you feel me, the to dos and whatnot. Okay, um, we talked a little bit about you uh, being a leader. Um, do you want to talk about you being a leader considering the type of platform we're on? If not, we can just go into the question that I have. Uh, I'm an open person. Uh, and I have a very open mind. Uh, I'm here for everybody. All right, cool. Okay, so talk a little bit about what you're doing with um, the youth around the city. Oh, uh, so basically we created a program for the kids uh, to teach them sustainability around creative entrepreneurship. And we're going inside of the schools and basically having uh, miniature career days and just educating them on the different platforms that you could take as an artist and make money doing what you love to do. Okay, so you basically on some big homie shit around here. You feel me? I'm fucking with it. Um, you feel me? So that being said, being a leader, this this role model person that um, kids look up to, do you think that keeps you from letting your freak flag fly? Like keep you from being openly sexual? Um, no, because I'm always be me. Uh, I don't think anybody should stop themselves from being themselves because Amen. society over sexualizes things. Um, I would hope and pray that ain't nobody letting their kids listen to this podcast. Yeah. But um, nineteen and older. Again, I'm grown as fucking shit. You feel me? And I'm a very open person. I'm open with my partners and everybody I have sex with and shit. But uh, nah. With um, with single mothers in mind and this like mentoring thing that you have going on, like, like say a single mother approached you about um having a sex talk with their kid. Would that something you would be open to? Uh. I don't know why somebody probably be coming to me talking about having sex talks with their kids. I'm saying if they daddy not present, you know what I'm saying? You the um, you the positive role model in their life, you feel me? They feel like they can't handle talking about sex with a 13, 14 year old boy. So, you know what I'm saying? Why not have you talk to them about it? Um, I'd be open, but I wouldn't recommend I'd be the role model to tell your kids what to do when they have sex. Honestly, I'd just be telling kids, don't let things peer pressure you and shit, you feel me? I, I wasn't peer pressured. Uh, a lot of my friends was, you know, fucking at the age 12, 14 and shit, but that didn't yeah. force yeah, me you, to, like, you obviously break waited the bag a little down. bit. Yeah, I was chilling and shit, and honestly, I, I went crazy my first time and shit, so I ain't even really tripping. Did you really go crazy? Like, looking back I at, did. I, at I did. 27, 28? I mean, well... <laughs> For for a kid that was like as conservative I was with sex and shit, and then also had gone to DSA, where you feel like you built up the momentum. Yeah, you feel me? I was chilling. So, but that was the thing about. And then I also was told and shit at that time when I was a kid. But then you you feel me? You grow up and then that conversation progresses, and then you you learn to open things, and then you look back and be like, damn, was I like a little nigga like? 
tripping like that and shit. And then again, I might not have been doing nothing at all. Yeah, because looking back on my sexual experiences at 17, like, I wish I wasn't having sex at 17 because that <laughs> shit was trash. I really, mean, I wish I was because like, it progresses, it turns you into who you are today. Yeah, you grow from you. Open I you mean, yeah, because I guess if I wasn't having sex at 17, at 24, I probably would be having trash sex now. Yeah. Um, you, but, you have sex? When you have sex, Lex? Like your first sex? Your first sex. Your I would like one sex, sex please. <laughs> yeah. My first sex was 16. 16? Uh, yeah, mine was 16 and a half. And I, I feel like Tonyo, like, I feel like, you know, I blew her back up. <laughs> to this day Low key I would respectfully text and ask her Now listen though My first sex was kind of trash Not your don't next one to, Oh for sure like it was trash no, no, was no, a kid. Like, I mean like my first sex My first sex was trash trash Like, <laughs> like Mine too Like, like I was, was like sophomore He was a freshman in nut. college <laughs> Immediately um, Damn he was a oh, Kelly yeah, R No, no like he that. wasn't because like mm-hmm. okay, so let me. You said she was in eighth grade. What'd she say? She no. said she was in eighth grade. I said I and was, he was in tenth grade. Oh, tenth grade. Oh. Um, some backstory. I was gay for like a while. So, oh, uh, okay, that's cool. I didn't strap, strap on Lex. <laughs> oh, you, you so can strap I strap on? you? No, what the oh, fuck? Okay, how fuck we get on that? Well, look, you brought I got strap on. Man, I mean, look, you brought it into stories. the conversation. Anywho, because you gay. No. <laughs> Um, so my first sex um, I just wanna say I love was her. kinda kinda horrible. My um like his penis was really small. He didn't break my hymen, like Damn. Um, I didn't come from it. It was it was horrible. Did but it hurt? at the same time I think it was like me forcing it. Like I was just like in my mind, like, All right, come on. Let's see what this is about. You know? Like not like, oh, I'm attracted to you. Did I he wanna eat it? No. I can only speak for myself. My first time, I that was my girlfriend. She don't she to this day, I don't think she believes that that was my first time. But see like y'all had like underlying passions for each other. And this I boy kind of tormented me my my ninth grade year. He was yeah. just like, it oh, just you're not like you had a real experience. You ain't had no real nigga dick. And <laughs> so R. Kelly you said all that. <laughs> and then I was, was he? just like all right, come on, let's fuck. He was like, you serious? I'm like, come on. So you was 15? No, I was 16. (laughs) And how old was he? He was 18. Going on 19? Do y'all look at that as R. Kelly? I mean, like, I was 16 going on 17. The legal age of consent in Michigan is 16, so. It was 17? No, it was 16. You took somebody to court or something? (laughs) (laughs) She did say it was a... Huh? Have you? No, I know somebody that went to court for it. It was 17. No, it was 16 from Michigan. Let's bet. All right, whoever loses ah. gives up the head. All right, wait, wait, so, wait, look. hold on. What are we? Legal age of consent in Michigan is seventeen. Yeah, we just bet head on it. It's, it's seventeen. Um, That's, yeah, yeah I, it's not seventeen. It it's is. Not. I mean, either way, I'm, I don't mind. It's younger than seventeen. We got it's our 16. phones. Yeah, it's sixteen for sure. I look, mean, I'm googling it. No, so let's just keep the show going. Um, you know, in regards to that. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I'm looking this shit up. <laughs> Aren't we all? Not me. I'm watching y'all do it. All right, I'll be right back, y'all. I gotta get Lex some head. Ah. It don't smell <laughs> like hymen, do it? <laughs> it don't stink, do it? I mean, when you smell it, I'm sitting literally like. No, no. Because like once the panties come off, it's like the panties is like a protector b- barrier, <laughs> and then it's like, blow, ta da, watch out now. No. He didn't even got it. That's been the experience for you. Yeah, man. I had some fried fish. Um, I had chicken noodle soup. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Yeah. Fried fish, chicken noodle soup. Did you still eat? <laughs> yes, he did. No, okay. Long story with the fried fish. It was a while back, but it was with somebody that I was closely dealing with. And that person, I she knew me too well, and that wasn't her normal shit. Yeah. Like, her vagina wasn't on that tip normally. So, I knew if I would have just pulled out, I would have had to explain that. And I didn't feel comfortable explaining, like, yo, your pussy smell like fried trout. And trout ain't supposed to be fried. Mm. So I just faked it. I learned what women do. Well, gay women, they ask the bitch to hop in the shower with them first. Ooh, that's smart. Is that what you used to do? I just feel like shower before sex should be an anyway. Like, Uh, Depending on the circumstance. Yeah, maybe maybe it's a quickie. Why don't you shower for a quickie? Because that's a longie. 
okay, well then don't shower. Take a bird bath. But either way, like what's a bird bath? A bird bath is when you take your rag and you soak it up in the sink and you wash yourself and you rinse it off. Well, so I mean, you, sometimes that's a women, you feel me? Sometimes bird women bath. be off to I mean, uh, go run to it and do the bird bath. Okay. Oh, bath. Yeah, I feel like there should be some washing of private parts, regardless. So <laughs> you, your guy, ever tell you that your stuff stinks? No. It's okay to admit it. No, I've I've never been told that. I think half y'all be lying. The reason why is I never had a woman admit it, and no, I know I it happens. Also, niggas sometimes just don't say nothing because they know. Yeah. yeah, I would I wouldn't lie because I feel I've like you would know. Like if I smell the shit like I smell, she had to smell it. Now see, this is the thing though. I feel like if you stink, then the person like wouldn't want to come back. I've never had a person who I fucked who haven't wanted. To fuck okay, and then back. another thing, like my fried trout thing. Even though I will never ever do that again. <laughs> Uh, if, if if I were to And that's for other reasons But if I were to go back It would be because I felt like it was a one off Like I had sex with this person Countless many a times And she smelled perfect But well, that then, one time was the, I don't I wouldn't go back to that But you know man Now see me personally I am a firm believer in You smell you before anybody else does Like I don't know if I got hoop nuts mm, uh, I'm just talking shit you, I'm like why you don't Like you smell you before anybody else does So when I open up my legs That shit Blow past my nose before it gets Honestly, yours, so. when I know my shit rank is when it gets sticky. So I was sticky, so I should have known. Yeah, if it's hot outside and it's a bunch of functioning going on and shit, yeah. I might, I might, sometimes I might not even just have sex and shit. Yeah, should like, be deep. And that's responsible and For sure, sanitary. If it's too hot and yeah. you ain't got no air, we not fucking. And even though it's off topic, y'all ever fuck and it was really, really hot? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I honestly felt like I was about to have a heat stroke I'm a on sweater. 4th of July. I'm okay. a sweater. I'm I get to sweat in your eyeballs. I sweat not doing shit. Look, I get she stay. in your yeah, eyeballs. I see how they put this hair in a yeah, you take like, yeah, I thought that was for some other reasons. But, um... <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I, I would use my thong. You got on the thong. Ew. <laughs> what, what you say? <laughs> but, no, that, that shit was just, like, a little wild there. And... I just it'd be too hot. Like I just be feeling like I can't breathe and I gotta piss and shit. Like, like y'all never just been so hot and you just feel like you gotta pee. I'm like, how does hot? Or maybe that's a, like my scapegoat yeah, to get I'm away not, from some shit. I'm not exactly but when you're dehydrated, you do being hot feel like to pee. you have to urinate. Like, C, Big Ray. First off, <laughs> but speaking of peeing. And this is just this is from actually from one of our winners of our contest, and this is her story. And you know how to read. You all right? All right, baby. Here I'm gonna let you read this. This is big Lex, y'all. <laughs> Lex with the strap. No, it's like your hands sweaty, it. nigga. I told you I'm a sweater. Damn. Okay. At least my dick won't be dry. <laughs> okay, so boom. We had been joking about it for a bit, but nothing serious. This time, though, we had just had sex, and you know after sex, you got to piss. But we got into the shower first. About to start round two, I guess. So my back's to him, and I'm washing up. I turn around to get under the water and rinse, so now I'm facing him. Then the water just warmer, and I thought, he just turned the hot on. No. He's staring at me like that freaking... What is it? Oh, she failed the test. Literally. She can't read. I can't see. Can you hear me? Lex glasses? Luther can't read. Um Let me see. Although okay, he's he's I know he's staring saying, like that freaking I know what she's saying, but she didn't spell it right. She's saying yeah. uh, um It's a type of cat. Yeah, it's a Chester or uh Oh the Chester. Yeah, the she's Chester, saying a Chester cat, but she Cheshire didn't spell cat. it right. So don't yeah, do okay. me. <laughs> so the Chester cat. <laughs> yeah, okay, because that's not spelled correctly at all. The fuck is a Chester cat? <laughs> the one, one from off. Alice in Wonderland. There you go yeah. with the, the I never that seen smiling that. and shit. Mm. Nope. Yeah, so he's smiling like that one cat from Alice in Wonderland. I'm like, what the fuck I'm looking at? He says nothing. I look down and he's pissing on me. Oh. Full piss stream. The side of my body. What? Hot piss on me. The shower. The end. What? So she took a go in the shower? With him. Niggas is pissing on pissing? What? The, at, I, at I, the I, end, first of all, because what the fuck happened <laughs> afterwards? Period, what was your like, response to him peeing on you? Nigga, you got me fucked up. Okay, like, I... I I did talk to this person after she sent the story. Her, it wasn't that big of a deal. She said it was a joke. 
And it, like it wasn't sexual, it was just like a funny joke because they talked about it in a joking manner before. <laughs> but I mean, I guess <laughs> uh, I just here, just, just like, oh, you no. said I was gonna pay that shit ain't fucking I'm funny. Fucking I mean, is it okay? I mean, I thought I about it after she you. said it. Is it that big of a deal since y'all in the shower? Yes, drip, drip, drip. yes. Like I be yes. in and yes, around your is. mouth. I don't at, care. Like, like I don't care. Piss and no. sterile. No. Don't pee on. on no sterile while it's in your body. While it's in your body. You know you can drink pee to live. <laughs> I mean, like, if you, you see that movie we had to drink his own pee what yeah. was it called it was like 28 hours some shit like that yeah like yeah. you can't you can't eat shit I mean like though. yeah cause your, your kidneys will refilter it but but I mean, yeah no we saying. we definitely we have a fucking problem if you feel me in the shower in the pool any fucking where if you like, gotta piss in the toilet bowl oh sidebar me and Raven, Raven recently talked about um pool sex Oh, I was about to say, dog, to what the fuck is you about to say? What the fuck we talked about? <laughs> oh, I was about to say, I, I peed in a pool before. Huh. Oh, but that's the reason why I don't like going to places like Oasis or trying to fuck in the pool or really get in the pool at all because people pee in the pool, people be fucking in the pool, and I don't want to be sitting in this fucking cesspool of nut, skin, germs, piss, band aids. Right. I'm going to say that's something. That's nasty. And this is probably going to sound so. Y'all promise y'all won't judge me? Do hop in the pool with band aids on. Y'all promise not. And the bitches. Wait, who does that? And be floating. All right. Nasty. Can y'all just, can I tell y'all something? Y'all not judge me? Promise. Never judging. All right. Thank you. (laughs) Only God could judge. All right. So that's some bullshit. I think you judging me. But look, so you you, you ever been to Iceland? Iceland? Yeah. No. All right. So Iceland got this blue lagoon. It's huge. I know that, that's hot. Niggas always yeah. ruin this shit. It's, it's huge. Niggas already always ruin. Like you ever, been, always Iceland, ruined, like, ruined you ever been to Kentucky? <laughs> <laughs> I drove through that bitch, but anywho, so you was in the road. What? Going to Tennessee. No, the point is the blue in Iceland is really cold. So in order to go to the bathroom, you gotta walk all the way to the the part where you get out, get out that bitch, and go and you know go to the bathroom in the cold. So think it being twenty eight degrees. You get out in some swimming trunks or in your bikini, your thong bikini. I know you got one. So basically, and you pissed in this beautiful ass water because you didn't want your dick to shrink. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't it. That's what happened. I didn't pee. All right, that was it. He so Charles Gambino <laughs> peed. Huh? Charles Gambino peed in the water. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> Do you hear her going in on you? No, <laughs> it was funny. The story was I went to a little corner, right. And so he walked up. He was like, man, I'm just thinking about it. He was real drunk. He was like, I'm just thinking about this shit, man. And I know all these fucking people are just pissing in the pool. What you doing over here anyway? And I'm like, pissing. <laughs> pissing in the pool, nigga. God, you know. Yeah, so I guess y'all, fuck y'all. I, that's, that's it was nice. like a quarter of a mile, you know. You know how hard it is to walk in a pool? Steep. And like, it, it was a hot spring, so it cleaned it. All right. I, I, I feel. pee three times a day. Okay. Like, really? Yeah. I drink too much water for you that. You pee three times a day? Yeah. Damn, you on the same schedule as Pluto. Shit. <laughs> Who is Pluto? <laughs> My dog. Uh, <laughs> bro, that nigga did not How is you peeing more, <laughs> more than that? Why is you peeing more than that? Three times a day? This ain't a shit, nigga. You... And then when you work in an office, you kind of I pee like 10 times a day. Like, at, at least. <laughs> no. Like, I have I to pee, pee twice before times. I go to sleep. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, th- I think I pee twice before I go to sleep. I don't even know if I got that much piss in me. Yeah, I drink so but much I, water. I was I drink, about to say I'm a thirsty ass bitch. I try to drink a like, gallon a day. I never get to it, but I drink at least a l- liter and a half. Maybe I don't drink enough water. Yeah. I this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like seriously, you drink that whole bottle of Smart Water, nigga. It's gonna be more than three times. That's also my favorite. And water. that's I'm a liter bottle. That. So yeah. you, you drink water, boo? All the time. No, nah, this this a rig. All we got is water bottles. Damn. Damn. I really you only piss three hair. times a day. Shit deep. Can it get pulled? Niggas too busy to piss. Imagine that. Imagine that. Okay. Out here too busy. I thought that shit was normal. That makes so much sense. Yeah, like morning, noon, and night. You no, know, you better chill. I, I kind of shit. Tract infection. Two to three, three times a day. Yeah. Who is? I'm not even holding shit. What is y'all talking about? Let me yeah. find out. Too disciplined for me. All right, <laughs> all right. We're gonna get back to Tonyo because Tonyo is gonna actually gonna drink a drink a liter of water a day, and then we're gonna see if he up his pee amount, and then he could pee on somebody. I'm going to come back and like, ah, now I'm pissing two times a day. This shit <laughs> yeah. crazy. Yeah, Big Ray, you cool with getting the Absolutely stream? Absolutely not. I'm even it's all water. All right, we tried, we tried. But look, I got a couple questions that came in. They're a little wild. Mm-hmm. But I ain't going to say wild, but they can, you know, start. They just came in like live? No, nah, people just be texting me like, hey, ask this on the podcast, and I literally type all it. Right, or I send it to uh, Ray, and she be like, ooh, that's a good one. Or That nigga dumb. So uh, <laughs> this is one of them. And this is somebody who needs to know. 
how do you properly friend zone someone? And then they said in parentheses, I want to legitimately be friends with this person. Well, first, know that that may not be possible. Like, if they're interested in you, it may not be possible to only be friends with them, depending on how far that their feelings have gone. Um, what in their own head. Yeah. Uh, I was about to say shit. Just don't fuck. Really. Too late. Damn. Mm. Just so don't fuck. Sex really. I mean, uh, like, I'm sometimes you just don't want to be cool with people, or sometimes like, you gotta level. keep it blunt. Like, no, listen, though, this like, shit ain't working out. I'm a, I'm a like a real nigga, so I can put you in the friend zone. But if we didn't already fuck and I like the way the dick land, like I might be like, "What's up? What you doing?" All right, see that. Okay, this and is how you do it. Tomorrow I'll be like, "Shit, let's go get some song. waffles." All right, so this yeah, is how yeah, we do it. It's a lot of curving involved. It's a lot of curving involved. This is. I don't like the curving because I feel like if you want to be their friend, you kind of owe it to them. If you want to be a real friend to them, to just be real. And what you have to do is, in my experience, how it works is you kind of let them know, hey, I just want to be friends at this point. And no matter what, somebody's going to be in their feelings. And it's okay for you to be in your feelings because you're human. So you got to take a legitimate step back and let that person breathe. And then when they out of their feelings, maybe y'all can reconnect and be friends again. Like I've actually been able to grow or keep friendships, and I've actually ruined friendships, like, by fucking a friend. Well, so, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Mean, when you so, say it like that, then yeah, 100%. But, when you, like, example, say you just fucking with somebody. Like, say me and you have casual sex, and my dick is so phenomenal that you start falling for me. Now I have to mm-hmm. let you know, this ain't that. We need to be friends, and you're probably going to be a little salty, and we got to take a step back. The best way is to be upfront. you know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't spend too much time, you know what I'm Trim. saying, trying to, excuse me, don't spend too much time trying to cushion the fall. Like, you just need to be, like, as upfront as possible. Like, yeah, it's just you a know what? Leg. Like, you don't even got to mention whether the fucking sex was good or if the sex is good or not. Like, yeah. this is what we're doing. We're either just having sex or we're not doing anything. But as far as, you know what I'm saying, anything emotional, romantic, I'm not interested in that with you. Like, and I think that's that's super important to be specific that I'm not, I'm not interested in that with you. That doesn't mean that I'm not interested in that at all. Just not with you. Because, like, the problem with niggas and women, too, is you will be like, yeah, I'm not interested in being in a relationship or I'm not interested in doing all of this shit, da 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 You're not fucking with them. Two, three weeks later or however long, you doing that shit that you said you wasn't fucking with with somebody else. When it's like, I I wasn't just completely uninterested in the idea of being romantic or being all lovey-dovey. I just wasn't interested in that with you. I think all things started a point of communication and shit. And, Bingo. And honesty. Where's the bell? For one, that was the bell moment. Me? It's just being like, Bing. hey, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. This is what makes me happy. This is what don't make me happy. And honestly, if you're not fucking with this shit, there's no contractual agreement that says you got to stick with it. That sounds like a way to break up with somebody. That was good. I got to I mean, I don't, honestly, is, don't that even sounds a lot like me. Like, I'd be like, you take me as I am, or you like. I'm, I'm not huge on compromise. Am, like, yeah, that's I'm how I am about my gas. Like, like, I got, I'm gaseous. Like, just take me as I am. Brandon was farting at Starbucks like a week ago in front of all of these fucking white folks. Nobody heard me but you. I mean, but that was enough. And you be farting? Oh, because you white? When do I be farting? She's not white. She's black. You don't remember when we was at your crib? You no, cooled it. I don't remember that. Okay, I'm just making it up. You are, as, as you usually mm-hmm. do. All right, sis. Anywho, <laughs> so... We talked about like the friendship and the friend zone and shit. Have y'all? I'm assuming y'all all friends on somebody. Yep. Yeah, or been friends on. Now I know that's awkward for you. Like if you friends on somebody and you always out at events and then you see them all the time, it's like, hey sis. I mean, it don't really get awkward. I what mean, they doing out there playing hockey? <laughs> Probably sticks in a party playing, playing hockey. hockey. I mean, for me, it kind of. <laughs> I, I I put my lifestyle up on the table foremost and shit you feel me and then from there you accept me or no but i mean other than that it's kind of like when i see you it's hey how you doing (laughs) that's exactly exactly how i am too that's exactly how i am like i'm i'm always gonna speak like i'm awkward so i try to like just stay through the awkward shit like yeah you know what i'm saying hey how you doing like we ain't got to talk about the last time we fucked or why we ain't fucked in the month of sundays but hey I will, you. I will like, ask you that shit. Biased, Not in person though. Like I don't think awkward. Like I think you just like Raven. I feel like I'm awkward. I'm awkward. But like as I'm fuck. saying, like I might like, be biased because I've known her. Yeah, because her so that's something known I hear about so all of us. Like, like now it's the norm. Like that's I'm, just I'm Raven. I feel like I got bad timing. 
Like my timing is <laughs> terrible. People like, think I'm awkward because I'm so open and honest in front of everybody. Okay, so look. No, I feel like I fuck with you because of that and shit. I'll be like, well, I know exactly what I'm going to get from I prefer people like that. Shit. You know, yeah. like, I know what you're saying is going like, to be authentic. I've been yeah. literally the same, like, not saying it ain't been no growth, but I've been the same nigga. <laughs> Niggas was looking at me like I was weird because I ate ass in high school and I didn't shot like I was in trip. I like, never looked at you as weird. I just knew that that's what you wanted to do. Yeah, like, I ate ass. <laughs> and like, then I ate like, some ass and was like, was like, oh, Brandon wasn't tripping. Yeah, yeah, you, you be... You be next? Every grown oh, man damn, eat I ass. I thought everything was getting overheard. No, <laughs> no, hold on. <laughs> every grown man eat ass. Yeah. Interesting. Y'all be Does eating ass too? Man? I don't know. Why are you not eating ass? You want your ass ate? No, no, no. I'm talking to niggas. Hey, like, you should try it, man. Oh, it's like, fun. Nah, I'm I'll, straight. I'm straight. L- let a girl like, eat your ass. No, nah, I'm good. I ain't and saying and throw I'm your legs up. I'm straight on getting my me, ass ate. Like, my experience me, has not just been, it just hasn't been amazing. That's because For you, me, all ass activity is, I'm straight on, except I, I'm cleaning my ass in the shower. Yeah, I feel like that's the whole, like, heat for me. Like, you know, like, yeah. you can have my mouth. My vagina. I can. I got my enough ears. dick. Shit, my nose. If you can make time me out. Me what the fuck? Like somebody that. be doing with your ears? <laughs> <laughs> trying deep. to hear you coming, baby. The ass. <laughs> period. The ears. ass is what I keep for me, though. Like, ears. You we can have, you can have any ears? other. Home yeah, home. I actually know a chick that masturbate by playing with her ass. But yeah, you would rather a nigga play with I your ears? Masturbated in a minute. I need to go home and do that. Hey, I'm not you about this. So I'm probably gonna masturbate in the car Listen, before I this baby. I just bought it. Seriously? No, I just, I just bought it. No, you didn't. You bunny should. Rabbit. Let did. me see it. See, can right? I, can I, I use it on your? I didn't uh, clip? bring it. The last girl brought some shit. I should have brought it. Yeah. Oh, it was a chick that came on. Bought that bitch last week. And she strapped her nigga. She said. Oh, so y'all want to see a video? Of somebody strapping somebody? No, no, no. So, oh. And they both sucked the clear dick. So. Y'all gotta. Who is they both? Because I ain't sucked the clear dick. The nigga and I her ain't. sucked it. How you know the girl? I ain't suck shit. I'm talking about, talking y'all. about they both. I ain't no, suck shit. No, so you know what? That's why a nigga be nothing on your ears and shit. You get the fuck on. No, you can't nut on my dick. ears, but I mean, like. <laughs> I still want to know what niggas be doing to your ears. You said that shit, and I'm still confused. Well, nobody's ever done anything to my ears. We don't so know, you know So this took me for a left So one of my partners Is from New York And shit And okay. she go to a lot of gay parties And follow a lot of gay pages And mm-hmm. shit But I didn't know bitches like Wore You know like They wear straps in public But then like Also wear straps in parties And like dance Listen with the bitches shit. be wearing straps Like it's they did Yeah like, like that And then also t- Interchange <laughs> straps For different bitches mm-hmm. yeah. Like oh this bitch like Six inches This bitch like eight so that was something you know. I just be I be knowing shit, but then this this was like one of the videos and shit from the party. Okay, so we watching this video, y'all, yeah. and can I will turn, at least turn the audio up so niggas can hear. Put it close to the mic. Oh, this chick looks like Sid from uh, yeah. Internet. Yeah. Baby, keep it real. I'm scared Ooh, off. It's some stripper baby, strippers. Oh, these yeah, stripper strippers here. It's these strippers. Oh, we got straps and strippers in this bitch. Jay Jizzle just came in here. Hey, do you like strappers and strippers? JG left. He yeah, left. she grinding on that motherfucker too. Yeah, I am confused. Yeah. Hey, she got a fresh ass haircut though. But the thing about that shit is like it's all women parties and shit. Yeah. And then for women, it'd be like five to ten to get in. Mm-hmm. And for niggas, it's 75. The shit hilarious. For straight niggas, it's low key. Uh, that would probably be a very like. Very wait, do you get a discount if you gay? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. All would you that. tell the bouncer you gay just to get a discount to get in? Damn. <laughs> but it be some wild shit going on in yeah, the world. Yeah, definitely in New York. You ever been to a sex club? Uh, You've been living in New York club, for a couple years. Um, I went to the museum of sex. No, it's a club. Sex like it's a regular club, but they have the sex club. in there. Yeah. Uh, nah, but I've been you go? open to the platform. Yeah, yeah, I'd be yeah. open to. The Would shit. you go? Dicks Women. and shit like that swinging all around is a little uncomfortable still for me. Yeah, and shit. Like, I don't want to see no helicopter. The idea dicks of fucking in a public place mine. is exciting for me, so I definitely would go. So you you were fucking a club? Absolutely. Hey, Lex, you want to fuck me in a club? We fucking in the club. What's the point of going? I don't want to go and watch other people fuck. There we go. So I don't know though. Like, listen, I literally it depends on how lit I am. I get you lit. <laughs> so I feel like if you in the midst of anything, almost anything, 
for the first time, you should at least try it. Yeah. 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 Or at least be Almost open to it. Almost disclaimer. anything, for sure. Because so That's many things. I'm saying. Like, I might be open to it, but the, I, I might not want to engage. If it, it ain't going to kill how. you or change you as a um, person. But I, so you wouldn't go to a sex club with your nigga and fuck him at the club? Like, I'm not saying fuck some <laughs> random nigga in the club, but you wouldn't take your nigga and fuck him in the sex I, club? We talked about this before, and my thing would be, let, I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to fuck at the sex club, That's but I will thing. go and I will be open to seeing things and possibly being a part of it. But I'm not going to just be like, I'm fucking in the sex club. Like, you know. <laughs> That's me. That's me. I'll fuck you in the sex club, though. Like, I don't want to fuck you anywhere. I was but, talking um, about Lex. Stop looking at me in my eyes when you talk about fucking Y'all right next to each other. No, we not. Some people my bad, sis. comfortable with. A, having their body be seen out in public and then be also open to having dress for sex the with multiple partners. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dress for the occasion. No, dress for, wear a dress. You know what I'm saying? Wear some pants where you can slip it out real quick. You got dresses? Like, I'll be about to call you out your name so many times <laughs> like, the episode, dog. Word? Like, so many fucking times <laughs> episode. I wasn't. So I, was, I will be 100% honest. <laughs> I was joking, but I was serious. I do have dresses, but I don't wear dresses because I like them because I am a little boy on the inside. Um, so really but just... I wear dresses because it's, it's one piece. You feel me? Quick, one outfit together. So you will be participating in Sundress Booty Action this summer? I, I will. That's I cool. cannot wait. Will you, Queen? Queen. Will you, Queen? <laughs> queen um, definitely, at some point Ooh, this Lex, summer. I can't wait. We up next. Sundress so this is our last question. <laughs> have you ever... Fuck the friend, a friend's boo or significant other or whatever you want to call them, or vice versa. Like, have they fucked yours? Raven, um, we'll let you go first because we know you have. <laughs> I've never fucked none of my friends, boo, significant others, nothing like that. But, like, one of my friends and I do have a body in common. Actually, two of my friends have a body in common. Um, One of them. Are they a hoe or is the body a hoe? Both bodies are a hoe. <laughs> Both bodies are a hoe. But the situation with... The, okay, so the main situation that I'm talking about, like, she fucked him before we were friends. Like, and, like, yeah, we, we basically fucked him at two completely different time periods in our lives. Like, she fucked him a couple of years, you know what I'm saying, before I fucked him, and then I fucked him for a little period of time, and that was that. And then when we found out that we had both fucked the same person, it was like, oh, damn, you fucked him, da 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 Disgust the dick, like... Disgust the dick. Yeah. Okay. That's a thing. We definitely compared the dick, like... Mm. Oh, it was y'all too? That, no. Oh. But I'm saying, like, girls in general. Yeah. I didn't, uh, I didn't got my dick pic sent to other bitches. Before. I've actually had sex with people, like, that have talked to other people, but I told those people. I was kind of, like, up front, like, you know, like, hey... Just to let you know, such and such definitely hit such and such. Yeah. But the reason I did that was because we were friends. And I didn't want it. I, I looked at it like a, if you don't say shit, it's like, why were you hiding it? Like, like you felt like you did something wrong. But if you do say some shit, then it's like, you ain't do nothing wrong. Like, you, it's cool. It wasn't per se like a gossip. But coincidentally, both of these individuals I was really cool with. And, like, I fucked my friend, high school girlfriend, and it was, like, a one-night stand, and it sounded like some asshole shit. But he ain't never had sex with her, so it was just, like, you know, somebody had to. So, yeah. You know, it wasn't no hard feelings with our situation. Like, yeah. no hard feelings at all. You ever had sex with somebody that, like, you... So, my situation most times be, like, I didn't have sex with the girl before the nigga didn't wife her. Or then they made her his girl, and they just started dating. And That's it, it just be funny. so. But I I be chill about it and shit. I ain't you feel me like. Cause you still be cool with the dude. Had. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some I'm still cool with niggas and shit. You feel me? It's, some shit still exists out there. She be deep, but you know I I be maintaining. Niggas just need to realize that their girls you get fucked. Me? Niggas gotta definitely gotta have a you feel me yeah. call in this episode. Yeah, you feel me is a strong you thing me? because you gotta have you gotta a. The shit, niggas, some niggas be jealous. You feel me? Some niggas That's don't know insecure how to. Shit. Yeah, That's on some them. niggas don't know how to handle the insecurities of they bitch even talking to another nigga. Yep. You feel me? Or even knowing how to manage a situation where, damn, your bitch might have got fucked by your man's and shit. But it was before you know y'all came to that point and shit. But then when I get there, I'll be like, I'll be feeling like it's the girl responsibility to you know if she know y'all cool you so let me ask you this if your girl did some wild ass shit like before y'all got together like had sex with five dudes 
it's just like a fantasy of her. So she went with it. Would you feel some type of way and be like, I don't really want to make you my girl? Like, mm, what would you care? I mean, some niggas be off the, oh, that bitch a hoe or she a runner and shit. Well, like, down, it really, know. yeah, it, it really depends. Like, and you can't if always be a runner. You lose your run, Genity. Five niggas is deep. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting it if in it was now. two, five niggas is deep. Two is like, all right, maybe you was experimenting. Three is like, maybe you not. Maybe he was just there. <laughs> Four is like, we cool and maybe we could have sex. Five is like, buzzed out. That's you feel yeah. me? Like that's. I don't know. What Just about you? Face, baby. But you? sometimes you don't know and shit. Man, your girl might have got hit by five niggas at once. Honestly, if a chick you. was up front about it, I think most niggas like, hey, just to let you know, I know we getting kind of deep. I got fucked by five kappas. I would like, trust you more. Yeah. I don't know about this. So you gon' you going you going you going tell everybody that you had sex with five uh kappas? Uh that'll That's be a no. Uh, you just going to keep it a secret. Um that'll be a never happen. Oh, okay. Um Okay, so me and one of my friends have fucked the same nigga. At the same time? No, not Damn. at the same time. Um, but, like, both parties were wild, wild. So. Wait, what? They were both wild, wild. Like, wow. You was at, like, an actual party? No, no, no. I oh. mean, like, both parties, like, both individuals. Oh. Um, and so, like, it was never nothing, like, for real for them. Like, my friend ended up. You know, messing with one of his friends, shit like that. So I didn't think it was shit serious. So when me and him ended up starting talking, it was like, and we were serious. You know, I didn't think shit of it. Apparently, it was a problem. It didn't come to my attention that it was a problem until like we were deep in talking to each other. But it ended up fine. Like me and a friend are still friends. Me and a nigga okay. don't fuck with each other. Like, and I feel like in Detroit. There's a thing where it's this is a it's a big ass city with like a town size population and niggas don't even be realizing that people a lot underestimate of the six got degrees hit. of separation. Yeah, Man, a lot what? of people didn't got hit. I've been talking people. about the six degrees of separation for I feel like weeks now, yeah. like it's because really it's really been fucking degrees. me up. Like, it really is. It really like, is. Like yeah. they're they're oh, like the shit. You see. you gotta just know that. If this is for you, it's for you. If it's not for you, it's not. And then just be confident with that decision. Some niggas be feeling like, like I said, like they only get one unicorn in life and shit. You feel? This me? is how Until I feel. They see that farm of unicorns and be like, oh damn, unicorns is manufactured. And I love this. It's like, plenty of I them love this unicorn episode. Farm. Yeah. I love this. You feel? Farm of unicorns is. Go ahead, episode. run with it for the other. I, I love that. Farm yeah, of I unicorns. Love that. I love that. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. So, Cause there's beautiful women out there and shit. You feel me? That's just for the niggas that didn't know what the unicorn is. At the end of the day, this is how I look at it. Just play it safe, fellas. Ladies, so wait, 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 wait. At least, quick, quick question: Is Chris Jenner considered a unicorn farm? What? No, fuck all them I, bitches. Who the fuck is that? Who's that? Fuck Chris, every bitch. Like, the Kardashians. That's the part. Are we of just that? talking about mm, a bitch that's producing that a lot of cute bitches? No, you know, you know who's a farmer unicorns? Who? Uh, the DeBarges. No. Yes. Yeah. I, I've never yeah. seen the kids. That's a whole yeah. family of a just farm the of unicorns. Caribbean islands. Yep. So Black like, women. You know, uh, the hood. The east side. The east side. Jada Pinkett Smith mom started the farm of unicorns. The east side for sure. Like because uh, Willow 19, so I can say it now, she's cute. <laughs> okay, continue. So, There's look, me. at the end of the day, play it safe. Ladies, at least three chicks you know fucked your nigga. And fellas, at least two dudes you know fuck your chick. It. And don't I be mad about it. It, it is like, what it is. Even the home moments that your girl have or your dude have, y'all need to stop being insecure. And y'all need to be happy because some of them niggas taught your girl to trick. I taught her, bro. And I'm letting you have her. Like, it's cool. Like, let's just move Easy on and we me. all just have a good time. You talking McBreezy crazy. McBreezy taught me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's the name of it. McBreezy taught me. McBreezy taught me. <laughs> so do a nigga... Do, so that's what they be saying after you spank them? Absolutely. You be like... You be like... Y'all know the Chris Rock skit on the Kanye so who, 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 who taught you? Who taught you to bend your ass over like this? <laughs> Nick Breezy taught. So that's really what you be saying when you be spanking. I'm gonna do it next time. Y'all know she be spanking niggas. I'm gonna do it the like next time. Like what? Like an actual like no, when you gonna bring in your toys and shit? So you got the Throw belt. The next niggas be letting you hit them with a belt. Now I've never hit a nigga with a belt that's extreme, but I have hit a nigga with a paddle with a whip mm. with my hand. They was in a sorority. 
First of all, you keep calling these niggas bitches, and that shit's so oh, funny. Because hey, you look, he called the Kappas bitches yeah, a minute ago, like, and I wanted to say something, but I didn't want to check the time. Kappas going to be saying, like, yeah. this so a bitch. Apologies I mean, to all I've, the I've had my things. own paddle. My bad. <laughs> which I, ain't, was, I ain't do the college sorority. I mean, college <laughs> listen, no, fraternity sorority It's really, really funny thing. that you called Kappas bitches. That shit was funny, and I wanted to mention it, but I didn't want niggas to give me backlash. But that shit is funny as fuck. I'm not going to lie. But, like, I got my I've had my own paddle, and it was leather. It was kind of flimsy, so it wasn't, you know I'm saying it wasn't nothing steep, but I did whip a Greek nigga with his own wooden paddle. <laughs> so yeah. All right. So before we finish nigga. this show, I gotta read these out loud because he's funny as fuck. So I asked this question on Instagram, the same one I asked y'all. It was, "What's your most embarrassing sexual experience?" Let me read y'all some of the answers. Having a piece of toilet paper removed from my crack when getting it from the back. Ooh. Let me read this one. I was getting hit from the back. My wig wasn't secure, and he began to pull it, and it slid off. I mean, that is what he is. should know. I would snatch uh, that bitch on purpose. Shit. Palm oh, my, oh, palm my hold on. Cap. This girl with the was big so, nails, and this what you've been waiting for. Uh, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> this one is. This girl was sucking my dick and jammed her finger up my ass, and I jumped, and her nail <laughs> cut me. Oh, yes. Is that embarrassing or Duh. is that? That's the blue with a slice uh, no, at the end. This one is. <laughs> I was getting my dice. dick sucked and she threw up and said it was because my balls was stinking. Mm, no, so yeah, that's, I wouldn't you, that's really her head. fault. That's her fault. <laughs> it did. It says, uh, then one chick said, I was throwing up while giving head. It was literally pieces of lettuce on his penis. Tragic. Oh, my God. Once oh, my God. Somebody close to this <laughs> podcast said thinking? she farted while getting head. Why you say ooh like you did that before? Because that don't sound like ooh. But listen though, before we ended, y'all know y'all wore matching shirts. Li- we did not. Yeah, we about to go on a date. Swear to God, we didn't plan this. But listen though, I, I have. Just that, I'll I'll say like y'all look like two big ass yellow M and M's sitting on this couch. <laughs> First of all, bitch, well, I'm we about to mate. You you crowning. Karma. <laughs> oh, I'm about to say, go shit. <laughs> no, listen though, no, I've thrown up on a nigga while giving head, bro. And I know. Mm. Listen. I played this shit off so smooth. This gonna how do you play? How do you play? This is going to sound disgusting. You cannot judge me, okay? It's cocktails with cocktails. Like, did you I use it as spit? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't gotta I, hear this. I went too far down, and I was a little buzzed. So you know, I, my my gag reflex was hypersensitive, and it like you know, I threw up in my mouth a little. You swallowed so I, it? Yes. Oh, I took that shit this right bitch back. is a fucking trooper, dog. <laughs> yeah, that's not I bad. This bitch is a fucking. When I say I swear to God, bro, like so my I man don't know. His, uh, it's, no, it's he throw up this, in his pee hole. To this day, he does not know. Like I literally threw up a little bit, and I took that shit back up, and I found spit, and I went crazy. That like, wasn't I'm spit. That was throw up. That sounded no. like three. To you four was sucking his dick with throw up. No, I was not. No, I was not. You nasty. I swallowed the throw up. I made spit in my mouth like. You know how you <gasps> Yeah, cause your mom Do it again yeah. Do it again Liquidy from throw up So I in? made that spit And I went crazy crazy Like I'll say that's probably The best head I've I might ever need the gave. mid throw up head I would say that was the best head <laughs> I ever gave too If I was throwing up and shit <laughs> Alright I can't right. read this bitch <laughs> You nasty as fuck This bitch is nasty I as appreciate fuck. y'all I brushed my teeth No you didn't Yes I did What they gotta do with Throwing up on the dick I'm saying I mean like yeah, like you. Yeah, it was disgusting. So you washed like, the dick off. We took a shower afterwards. I believe in right. showers before and after sex. All like, right, now, now we about to end this episode. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. We not even gonna play the music. We just literally gonna end the episode with the last time we fucked. Ray, Tuesday. Last Thursday. It was last weekend. I forgot the date. I'm sad. Five hours ago. All right, great. Tony O one, he got to take a shot by y'all. Crazy. What the fuck is going on here? How is this a sex podcast? Ain't nobody fucking fucking. Oh, you want us to fuck on air? <laughs> Period. I'll All think, right, Lex. I think I'm walking. I got the camera orgy. together. All right, Lex. You ready? <laughs>